Hello, my name is Epic, and welcome to some of the wholesome news we need to hear in 2021. Grubhub is planning to deliver Girl Scout cookies during the pandemic. Due to COVID preventing all sorts of contact between actual people, Grubhub has stepped up and agreed to deliver Girl Scout cookies and waive the price they usually charge to restaurants. According to Freethink, California City has essentially ended its chronic homelessness problem. The way they did this was by utilizing real-time data. They kept a list of everybody who was str struggling with chronic homelessness. Initially, when they first started, the list was 200 people strong. Within a year and a half, the list was down to 62 people, and by March 2020, they had reached what was known as functional zero, which is when less than 0.1% of the people in a community are experiencing chronic homelessness. Hopefully, as we see AI and real-time data continue to develop, we'll see more situations where other cities take advantage of it to hopefully create similar effects. Just about everybody knows what Khan Academy is, but if you don't, it's an online learning platform that can teach you just about anything from programming to math. It's helped many students get through their degrees and learn random skills. You don't necessarily need to use it for school, you can just learn it, use it to learn anything as an alternative to paid solutions like Skillshare. Now on that subject, Elon Musk has made a $5 million donation to Khan Academy. It wouldn't surprise me if this just made people like Elon Musk even more. Now everyone knows what's going on with the coronavirus, but as a result of all the efforts we've taken to quell the coronavirus, the flu has almost gone non-existent. In the last flu season, there were more than 38 million flu cases in the U.S., 405,000 people were hospitalized as a result of it, and 22,000 died as a direct result of the flu. In 2020, there's been next to zero documented deaths as a result of the flu. And in fact, in Washington, there was no documented deaths because of the flu. Something about what we're doing with COVID is working extremely well against the flu, so maybe it'll be less potent in future years. Now all we gotta do is get rid of COVID. Speaking of COVID, though, a nurse working in a COVID unit at a long-term care facility ended up winning a million dollars in the lottery. Now, I was initially a little concerned as most lottery winners tend to spend it and end up broke by the end of it, but she said that she's going to take it slow and easy and figure out how she's going to invest it. So hopefully everything goes well. Best wishes to you. According to CNBC, the United States has now administered 11 million COVID vaccine doses. These COVID vaccines aren't exactly vaccines. They're more antibodies that are supposed to decrease the effect on you for approximately five months. That said, it should help prevent people from getting sick and spreading COVID to even more people. We mentioned Elon Musk earlier, and one of the things that most people know him for is his SpaceX program. However, SpaceX actually has a rival by Jeff Bezos, believe it or not. Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin program actually is aiming to fly their first passengers by April. Blue Origin is planning to do a flight in late February and then follow that up with their first crewed flight in early April. SpaceX has already sent some astronauts up before, but it's always good to have some competition around. I hope you all enjoyed the more wholesome side of the news, and if you'd like to subscribe, you can do that below. It's free, and you can undo it whenever you want. Thanks for watching.